Hello YouTube, my name's Kurz and this is actually my very first YouTube video. Alright, so today what the plan is, is I have 441 uh, taco savory covers, we're going to open up covers. Uh, I'm just starting you off in this screen to show you I've uh, been playing for over three years, Marvel vs. Puzzle Quest, uh, and that's, I don't think I've missed uh, many more than a handful of days, I've probably missed about two or three days. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the Deadpool Daily just so that we get right into the covers we want. So here you go, you can see we have 441 covers I've been saving up for a while. Uh, I've also been waiting to get a, uh, a uh, 4 star cover that I, I want, so I've been uh, coming up against uh, the new 4 star Rocket and Groot, uh, Gamora and Medusa combo a lot, and it's a pain in the butt to deal with so that's what I'm trying to build right now so I am going to actually open all the covers uh, without skipping in the video that is uh, and here we go I, I'm starting off because it's gonna take a little while uh, so I'm not really a uh, like a hardcore player I'd say I log in I do the Deadpool dailies every day and uh, Usually I'll, I'll play a bit while I'm watching videos or uh, doing some other work or playing the show. Uh, it's MLB the show in between bats, or at bats that is. Okay, so the aim for today is to get the uh, four star legendary cover, the token, as well as the Rock and Groot, uh, and hopefully also the 1000 hero points there. Uh, if I get those three things I'll probably just stop if uh, it's taking a lot longer as in more covers I am gonna keep going and might even just open up the whole vault just for fun uh, just because it's my first time actually saving up and uh, having enough tokens to actually open the whole vault and I actually watched another YouTube video where the guy did open the whole vault and you got a, you get a free reset at the end and that uh, second four star character is actually a random so I can actually see uh, what random we get here. Alright so uh, as if you've been watching you know we've been going a little while I think I've gotten one three star which is a Deadpool. Uh, We'll also kind of see how many covers it takes to uh, get each of the four stars, or, or how many covers before we hit a four star. Uh, obviously, if you uh, take statistics, this is a will be an N of one. Uh, so it's not like my experience will be exactly your experience. Oh, there's a four star reward. Unfortunately, it's a ISO reward. Um, I don't know if you saw. You can look in the top there, but I have a 2.5 million ISO, it's kind of worthless to me. Uh, I know a long time ago, I don't know actually when they took this out, but you could actually get the 1 slash 2 star covers uh, for 100 ISO points. And I don't know when they got rid of that, but I was thinking about this the other day, but it would have been amazing to be able to go back. Oh, there's another 3 star. Actually, I might have gotten 2 Daredevils. I guess that was a Daredevil from uh, down the list. Uh, so what was I saying there? Yeah, so you used to be able to get the, the base cover for 100 ISO. Uh, I feel like it was a 1 slash 2 star cover. Um, and that would have been amazing for me right now, because I could have just done that. Uh, obviously, it would have all the 1 stars would be recycled to ISO, but all of the... Uh, all of the um, two stars would go towards cycling my two star characters. And uh, now that I think about it a bit more, I think it was actually 250 ISO to get the, uh, those sort of basic covers. If you remember what happened there, it's probably on like Wiki, but if you remember, maybe you can post below. Uh, help me out a bit and help the other viewers out. Alright, here we go. We've uh, opened. Uh, 56 so far, and the only 4 star reward is that uh, 
5,000 ISO, which now that I look at, I'm, it's actually a three-star reward. <laughs> uh, so sorry about that. Yeah, hopefully that didn't trigger too many of you guys when I said it was a four-star reward originally. All right, so got Gamora, the three-star. Unfortunately, it'd be kind of amazing if I automatically or, uh, randomly popped a four-star. Just have a bug in the code or something like that. Alright, here we go, just opening covers. So, I know that you can do, oh there's a thousand hero points, awesome. So that took 67 covers. So, oh, there's another four star, two in a row. Real four star, unfortunately it was the ISO this time. Uh, and not the rocket group. There's some hero points, that's always nice to get. Um, as you can see at the top, hey, I now have, well, thanks to that thousand ISO, over 5,000, or sorry, 1,000 hero points, uh, over 5,000 hero points, and I used to just save them and get roster slots. Uh, right now, I don't have any covers that need, uh, or uh, are new uh, heroes for me, so I just have the stockpiled uh, hero points. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with them. Obviously, if I pop a new cover, a brand new cover, I'll uh, use it to get a slot. Um, but other than that, I guess I'm, I'm saving up. I did a bit of reading online this morning just because I was getting ready to do this video and I didn't want to sound totally uneducated. Uh, and it seems like people are getting heroes for hire with the hero points. Uh, I'm gonna look into it some more, and uh, I'll probably just end up stockpiling it a lot more, uh, to be honest, because that's what I tend to do. Um, with the command points, once again, this is kind of like an uneducated thing I've been doing, but uh, I've been saving command points, and uh, I'll usually pop them around 300. Uh, I'll do a cover or two, just to, more for interest sake, because it's nice to kind of keep the game going and not just grinding every single day. Alright, so where we are right now, 94. Uh, maybe at 100 I'll take a little break and see what kind of uh, progress we've made on our vault. Um, so I guess there... I would hope to get one of the top three rewards in my mind, which are the four star covers. Uh, over the course of a hundred, so we haven't hit that. We hit a four-star uh, ISO and a four-star hero points, so that was kind of nice. Uh, gotten a couple of these three stars up here. Uh, three of the hero point 250s, which is nice. And everything else is kind of garbage for me. I have tons of health packs, so that's nothing for me. I think I have like over 400 health packs. Once again, I don't really, uh, I wouldn't say I'm a real hardcore player at this, so I don't kind of stay in battles and use tons of health packs, so I might do that once every couple of weeks. Uh, I'll just kind of sit down and play, but it's more of uh, just what's going on in my day that will make me just kind of sit down and play this game and play a PvP event or whatever. Uh, definitely, definitely wouldn't be uh, using uh, health packs to recover in order to play uh, solo PvE. Alright, you probably saw I got the, the last big ISO reward, which once again ISO is kind of pointless for me right now. If uh, you have a big use for ISO, uh, other than leveling up heroes, maybe there's some covers you can get somewhere that I don't know about. Oh, please, uh, help me out, comment below. Uh, it's probably something you'd be able to find searching the internet, but, uh, hey, who's got time for that, right? Uh, lots of people. Probably me too, but, you know, uh, got some other stuff on the go. Other than playing a casual game. Uh, so you're also probably wondering if I've spent money on this. I have. I've spent about 60 bucks in the three years, which, uh, considering the time I put in, I think is a is a fair value. Uh, uh, just whenever the there's uh, deals, I might 
uh, spend some money and get some hero points. So that was, uh, mind you, back before I had this huge stockpile, or what I consider huge. It's certainly the biggest amount of hero points I've ever stockpiled. Uh, but if I ran into having four star uh, covers just sitting there that uh, expired after the 14 days, uh, which actually I believe also used to be seven days way back, uh, maybe you guys can uh, comment on that. I'm sure once again you could find it on Wiki, but uh, whatever you can do to kind of help out the other viewers, just to uh, save them some searching. It would be interesting to know those uh, those little tidbits, those little facts. So, uh, one thing that uh, I've kind of noticed is, so I've been in the same alliance for pretty much since the start, I believe, actually. And, I mean, there's some people that buy every once in a while. Sometimes we'll get, like, during the sales, we'll have people like, buying the uh, $140 uh, packs, which is, I don't know, I don't think I would ever do that. But, hey, pops off, gets me seven of the command points, so that's always nice. Uh, I'm kind of wondering, like, how active other people's guilds are, or not guilds, but alliances. Uh, how often do you guys get your command points. Maybe you could leave me a little message below and tell me on average how many hero points you get uh, every week or every month. Uh, not hero points, rather command points. Oh, there we go. There's the four star. I'll probably pop that open at the end of this video since as far as I know there's no real reason to save uh, a uh, legendary other than I guess waiting for a new character. Um, on the uh, topic of characters, I guess lots of people, it, the number one search probably is what's the best 5 star, what's the best 4 star, what are the best teams. Uh, it seems like right now the best 5 star is actually uh, Gambit. I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, it's probably the has to do with the amount of uh, uh, action points and cost to fire his powers and how they scale. Uh, when you read his powers, they, I don't think they stand out. They're just all damage dealing. Uh, maybe I just haven't looked hard enough, uh, which is probably the case, but I'm sure uh, lots of people have done research online, but apparently right now it's 5 star Gambit. Used to be 5 star Wolverine before they I guess did some major analytics. Oh, there's the Groot, awesome. Okay, so it's taken me 169, so just over halfway through the vault. I've gotten really the th top three things that I wanted, which is uh, the legendary uh, cover, the thousand hero points, and the rock and Groot. Uh, I don't think at this point there's much of a point to go for Mordo. He's as far as I know, he's not very good. Uh, I've actually gotten almost half of the 250 hero points, so all in all, I'd actually say this was a pretty good opening. I'm not really close to doing the full vault, so I'm not going to do the free reset, but as you can see there in the bottom left, uh, I still have 272 uh, of these savory tokens left, so it's not going to be too long until I get 300 again. Uh, at which point maybe I'll do another one of these videos if uh, people are enjoying it. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, I will actually go and open that cover as as, uh, as I said I would. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go through and pop off the actual roster uh, upgrades. But just so you guys see, so I don't know what you guys do when you open a cover, but uh, what your kind of superstitions are, but I kind of say like uh, over and over in my head, I'll say like five star, five star, five star, and then if it doesn't come up as whatever, it comes up as a four star, I'll think of like what I want, I'll say like rock and Groot, rock and Groot, or Gamora, 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 or maybe Medusa too. So Medusa is actually my strongest of three, so it wouldn't be terrible to get her. Alright, so here we go, five star, five star, five star. Alright, so, so let's go, Medusa, 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 and it's Rogue. Alright, so I actually think I read that she's decent too, but uh, I don't really have her built up. 
All right, so once again, uh, thank you for watching. I know I just flipped through all those things, but uh, may as well give you a peek at my roster here too. Yeah, I have uh, my top one is that Spider-Man Back in Black, which I think was actually the it may have been the very first five star actually, uh, followed by Black Widow. So that kind of makes sense if I have the most of those and they're the uh, the oldest. Uh, let's see, I am missing characters, so let's see, I'm missing tons of the five stars, but uh, I'm sure lots of casual players are. Uh, this five star Captain America I think is kind of old, and so it's kind of surprising I don't have him. Uh, miss, I think I'm missing a couple of four stars, yeah. Uh, the new Black Widow, uh, Shuri and Jubilee, so newer characters obviously. Three stars, pretty much everyone's championed except for Angel, uh, which is once again the newest three star. Uh, two stars, so I actually just read that Bagman you get legendary tokens from, so I think I probably will start collecting that again. Usually I'll just sell it off because I, I don't do PvP enough to actually get those Bagman rewards. But uh, now that I have some extra hero points, maybe I'll do that. Uh, one star, I just have the, I just have one to, you know, do the, uh, do the daily. Actually, now that I see this, this, uh, Helena Blova is limited, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, because you don't get rewards from these guys as far as I know. Anyways, I'm going to end it off there, and so once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, obviously hit the like. Uh, you can subscribe too, sure. I am obviously I'm just starting off, so I will uh, probably try and make a couple more of these videos. But we'll see how things are going. Uh, life is busy enough. Uh, but hey, if uh, people enjoy the videos, then sure, why not, right? All right, thanks again for watching.